My next guest captured that video. Masi Ali Najad is an Iranian journalist and activist and called last week's U.N. vote a slap in the face. Masi, welcome back. Good to have you here uh, once again today. Um, why do you call it a slap in the face? Explain to everybody. I think it's more than this. Um, to be honest, um, I am very shocked because at least four Western countries voted for the Islamic Republic to have a place at the UN's Commission on Women's Status. It's like putting ISIS in charge to monitor human rights globally. And mm -hmm. why I call it a slap on the face of those people who take human rights and women's rights seriously? Because, look, in my country, women are not allowed to ride a bicycle, as you show it on the video. Women are not allowed to show their hair. Women are not allowed to have the custody of their child. Women are not even allowed to travel abroad without getting permission from their husband. I'm not allowed to be a judge. I'm not allowed to dance. I'm not allowed to run for pres mm. presidential election. I'm not even allowed to sing solo. Can you believe that, Martha, in 21st century? Yeah. It, it, that sometimes it, <laughs> I get frustrated that I cannot even explain to those who voted for Iran, and I want to know who they co these countries are. Yeah, we but should this is name a great and point. shame them. This is a great point, Masi. I'm going to put up on a list because um, they, they are able to vote secretly. <laughs> so that's why you say at least four democracies voted in favor of Iran joining this commission. Um, you know, but sheer numbers in process of elim elimination would mean that it was, you know, any one of these. Australia, Austria, Bulgaria, Canada, yep. Finland, France, Germany, uh, Latvia down the list, including the U.K., the U.S., Portugal. So four of those countries said that Iran could be on this commission. Now, could any of them argue that putting them on the commission will hold them more accountable because they'll be surrounded by these other countries that don't do things the way that they do them. Is that, is that the reason? That's the point. But let me, let me tell you something. That happened in 2015 when the United Nations actually elected the Islamic Republic for its commission on women's status. Guess what happened? Obama's administration mm -hmm. that time condemned it. I'm wondering why Biden's administration are quiet. Mm -hmm. Is that because of uh, nuclear talk? Back then, uh, the U.S. was involved in nuclear negotiations. Yeah. And that's why their silence actually, um, you know, it's a betrayal to all women's yeah. rights activists who are right now in prison. And Masi I, I want to say that. Go ahead. Yes. I want to say that right now, 50 women are in prison. Women mm -hmm. who actually, uh, like, protested these Sharia laws are in prison. And now, the German country, like French country, Swedish country, uh, Belgium, I, I want them to actually, I want all the journalists to challenge their own government and ask them, because of business, because of commercial threat, you betray the women's rights movement in Iran. You know, it breaks my heart when I say that in 21st century, singing solo is for Forbidden, women get, uh, you know, yeah. being uh, the, so the government thrown acid on women's face. Mm. And those um, yeah, acid we've seen images of that. It's horrific. Right um, and we would love yeah. to know how the United States voted on this question, and we will pursue it. I know you will as well. Um, Masi, thank you very much. Masi Alina Jad, great to have you here as always. Thank you.